Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. Bridge. So you're going into a new phase of life. Friendships. Maybe it's time for you to embrace, you know, being single. You may, I don't know if you want to be single or you want your singleness to to end, even if you are single at this time, make sure that you're still having fun. Yeah, like, I'm glad I got this deck. Y'all, I was literally, I was like, please, what deck can I use? I need something fun, flirty. Seriously, like, where's the rainbows, the butterflies, the sunshine skies, you know? <laughs> so, um, toxicity, uh oh there is a full moon in Capricorn that's coming up next week, and I'm already starting to feel that energy, so this may be a time for deep releasing of old um patterns you know habits deep rooted wounds that keep you feeling oppressed self-limiting beliefs and things like that you may want to travel okay if you are moving if you're traveling if you decide um for some to even relocate or um going on like a just a trip or something you may want to start moving in silence okay um for some of you too, you may have a person that is traveling towards you or they're traveling. They may not be really telling you the full reason as to why. I don't really feel like it's something you need to worry about. Okay. So you could be wanting to go back home. Maybe you're feeling homesick right now. Maybe you need to go, go visit like some old friends or your, well, I guess, um, 4th of July weekend is coming up soon. Some of you, maybe you need to go and just hang out with people that you know like but or maybe you're needing to go out and meet like-minded people that remind you of home and when i say home i'm not necessarily meaning like your hometown or whatever but a home as in it feels good it feels right it's organic it's natural okay you're going into a new phase of your life where you know it's you're coming out of something that may be a little bit dark or it's been heavy and it's time now for you to have fun it's definitely time for you to let go of toxic situations and friendships and just enjoy the little things in life some of you you could be a woman or you have a woman that's going to visit you or come in be mindful though of a toxic woman perhaps from your past that could be coming back some of you especially if you are a a male watching really spirit saying no it doesn't matter Male or female, you could have someone that has some very toxic traits that may be um, trying to re-enter your life. And you may want to kind of be careful of letting this person into your energy, into your space, okay? Um, if you are a man watching this video, though, you could have a woman from your past who's a little bit toxic. A lot of people are going to sense you moving away from situations and people may be trying to manifest you back into their life. But, you know, if it's a, a false sense of reality for you now, then you should stay away from that situation. This is a great time for you to really purge. OK, um, any kind of toxic, like I said, habits, thoughts, mindset, patterns, dead end relationships, just let it go because you have the birth card here. All right, so something new is starting. Some of you have been waiting on a love offer, okay? There's a key here. So key to something that is rare is very beautiful, okay? Some of you, you are going to very, like going into a relationship at some point very soon after making a painful sacrifice. So you need to sacrifice something. Or right now, you may feel like life is really testing you. This could be you or someone that you are connected to or about to connect with. Someone is definitely being tested. This is because you are needing to see the truth about people, places, things, and situations in your life before you move forward. So it feels like there is a friendship or relationship or an opportunity that is on hold until you actually... um understand why things before did not work out so this may be you know a need to kind of release your regret about a situation that was already um not for your greatest and highest good some of you though also if, if you have been in a situation where you've been waiting on something to happen make sure that you're waiting for something that is actually for you don't don't wait bait for something that 
it's only there really to hold you back or to give you false hope. There are some situations that it takes time. It's going to work out in divine timing, but make sure you're not waiting on something that's going to keep you stuck in a toxic pattern or mindset from your past. So right now may be the time for you to really just let go um, and just see what happens. Everything that's supposed to fall in place will fall into place once you just surrender. So let's see. You definitely want to have fun, but you need to have boundaries. And the reason why you need to have boundaries is because you're going into something brand new. Um... Some of you need to definitely keep your business. Yeah, it's something new here. The Page of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune here. Wow, the Death card. And I literally just said boundaries. Lovers and the Seven of Wands. You're needing to stand up to somebody here who is bringing some kind of conflict. Somebody is being very manipulative when it comes to like a divine feminine energy here you have a person that's in your energy or trying to come back into your energy that is not of the light like this person doesn't have good intentions for you some of you right now you um the lovers is out here so you have a choice you you're becoming passionate about something and therefore you're standing your ground okay the seven of wands like you're defending yourself you're protecting yourself you're you're determined right now to create a solid beginning it's almost like somebody they can sense this they can smell it they can feel it and it's like a person who wants you to feel like you don't have options you actually you have a lot of options um and you're going to see this transformation, this new beginning, once you let go of something fully. That's when the the world card, I'm sorry, the wheel of fortune happens. Where the good luck, the good karma can come in. So, you know, Saturn, Saturn just went retrograde and it'll be retrograding until November 4th, I believe. A lot of people have gone through hell, you know, for, for quite some time. And... You need to apply the lessons that you learned. Don't stay in the situation that's teaching you a lesson. You've already learned the lesson. Now it's time to move forward. But it seems like something here wants to pull on your energy and keep you in this fight or flight mode where there is this tension and this ego clashing and the, the obstacles and the challenges and the struggles constantly. This is, you know, to cause a divine feminine, this empress energy, male or female here who's having this beautiful abundant energy this is to make you constantly stay stuck in pain there is something here seven of swords with the ten of swords and the king of pentacles someone has made you feel a, a deep pain because they were you know lying cheating stealing scamming you know avoiding responsibility this could have been someone who was an opportunist or whatever be careful because there's people who want to compete for your energy. You you need to know that you are a person of great value. Your the essence of who you are is is very rare. You you exude like this energy of of wealth and abundance and fertility. Yeah, the eight of pentacles. You're working very hard on a new beginning here, knight of pentacles, and you're taking your time. You're being very practical. You're moving. You're, you're you're being smart about this the nine of swords though again there's something here it it brings in some kind of stress or or anxiety some of you you're you're gonna have anxiety because something is gonna go so well for you yeah the nine of swords you're gonna get some kind of idea and it's just gonna take off really fast um the hangman is here the ten of pentacles the queen of wands so if something has been delayed that's changing if there's been um a an energy, a third party energy present that has been causing you any kind of like hangups or delays that's coming to an end. There's been some type of karmic energy here that has been blocking someone's finances. This could be friend, family member, lover. This could definitely be a man who's been experiencing like a lot of stress, fear, anxiety because of this queen of wands has been in the background some of you whether male or female you have a queen of wands person possibly um 
this person is like projecting their fear their doubts and insecurities onto you and it's making it harder for you to have like a breakthrough or you can be this queen of wands you have a person around you they're projecting so much of their fear insecurity and anxiety onto you that it's causing you not to receive your divine blessings and inheritance so just be careful of that five of cups yeah don't don't stay in this um situation that's causing you any kind of regret loss or feeling isolated or whatever you don't need to stay in this energy because right now it's the nine of pentacles you have a page of pentacles eight of pentacles knight of pentacles something that you've been working on for a very long time it's here the only thing you have to do is stand your ground right now and say no to anything that may bring a death to what you've already been working on and it's just that's in a toxic friendship relationship pattern mindset if it's not in alignment with you leave it if, if you know that you're focused on wealth and abundance and being free receiving rewards recognition you cannot allow anything to stop you if anything you need to allow your pain to really add fuel to your fire to having this abundance the queen of cups yeah you're gonna have to go about something being very mature about your your emotions the queen of cups is here with the queen of swords and the hermit this may be a time where you need to go in and see how you are communicating your perception, you know, I can see the struggle though between like wanting to be vulnerable, but not wanting to appear as weak. There's strength in being vulnerable. Okay. But this is called, this is a time that's causing, calling for you to be very mature about things don't allow like grief or regret or anything like that to stop you or slow you down there's a there's a lot of money and opportunities here but it just looks like someone here is making the decision the reading that i just did was more so geared towards divine masculine this feels like it's geared towards divine feminine where right now you need to be in this energy of being like unstoppable um you cannot allow your emotions to stop or block you at this time. You cannot allow even another person who you care for deeply to stop you. Even if it's your own divine masculine, you have to send people love and like, but like right now it's so important for you to stay in motion. So May, there was a full moon in Scorpio in May. And an eclipse, Taurus season, the nine of pentacles, which is, you know, self being self-sufficient, financial freedom, having achievements, luxury, a lot of different things between now and, and nine. The nine of pentacles makes me also think of just like the hermit Virgo. Didn't we see the hermit? Yeah. Number nine here. Something is coming to an end, but this is giving me like Virgo energy right now. We're not in Virgo season just yet, but you need to be taking on like the energy of Virgo, like really getting your checks and balances, dotting your I's, crossing your T's, um, going within. This is a good time for solitude. Not so much solitude, but um, freeing yourself from people, places, things, and situations that don't serve you and putting yourself in the right spaces and places for you to actually cultivate something that is wish fulfillment for yourself this this looks like somebody is very determined right now to manifest the life that they've always dreamed of and you're becoming like unstoppable yeah the five of pentacles it was two fives and then there was two nines and then here you have the sun you have the world and then the ten of cups and here is the nine of wands so there will be if i go back to their hermit card there will be three nines But underneath this is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the world. The Tower and the Ace of Wands is here. The Eight of Wands, wow, the judgment. So you have an awakening. Y'all, I'm telling you, I don't even think that I have up like published or uploaded the other reading. But it was more so for divine masculines who are going through 
I guess you could say like a Saturn return or Dark Knight of the Soul right now, possibly healing like father issues. I feel like there is a feminine out here. Some of you, you've come into recognition or you have recognized like your actual counterpart if you are on the twin flame journey, but you're going into divine union with yourself. But this is you recognizing that you have to complete some type of mission here with or without another person, anything that is toxic from your past, there is a deep purging that's happening. And we are in cancer season. So this is like heightened intuition. This is also seeing the truth. You know, a lot of illusions or confusion or secrets, family secrets, a lot of stuff is coming out and it's going to allow you to have like this rebirth. But you're receiving everything that you ever dreamed of or imagined like you're receiving it all the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles is here there's a completion of a cycle um i've been talking too lately even about um people who don't realize that you know once you physically detach from a person sometimes there is still that soul tie and if you haven't cut any cords or done any kind of spiritual cleansing there are things that are still um, affecting you energetically because of your attachment to things. And that can be because of the job you work, the people that you spend the most time with. It could be anything, your ha habits, eating habits, whatever. And as we go into the full moon in Capricorn next week, what I'm sensing is Again, anything that makes you feel oppressed, you have to get rid of it. It doesn't matter who. It, it's like this everything must go type of energy. Hmm. The tower is here. So this upheaval, all these changes is bringing in like this fast moving energy that you're going to be like, you're going to be really, really passionate. And, and for some of you, if it's a, like a relationship here, as soon as you like really start cutting and clearing these old cords and you know exactly what you want to manifest, you're going to experience like this amazing renewal, um, like this deep healing where you just have a second chance that like the Knight of Cups is here while wow, the Hierophant and the Two of Cups. Yeah. So you're getting out of this mental imprisonment that you've been in. Look at that. The Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and then the High Priestess. So you're, you're out of the matrix. The illusion is over. There's a wake up call here. Also, it's like if, if you, if you have another person that you're connecting with, if that's a part of, you know, your soul contract for this lifetime, of course, as you awaken, they awaken. As they awaken, you awaken. So this person, they may be dealing with family issues concerning um, a father figure where you may be dealing with family issues concerning a mother figure or vice versa. Um, one of you could be a divorcee while the other one has, you know, always been super career focused. There is something here that's coming into balance. But you're walking away. Look, it literally eight of cups, eight of swords. You walk away from anything or anyone that makes you feel trapped. Anything. Even yourself. Even, even the things that you do or say or don't do or say that make you feel trapped. You're just moving away from it. And this is going to give you access to a lot of secret wisdom and knowledge. It's time for you to stop hiding yourself. Knight of Cups, the Hierophant, the Two of Cups. Some of you by embracing your true authentic self, though, and allowing this ascension to happen, or for some, just your awakening. Um, because in the reading that I just did, I was saying the uh, it was like a Saturn return. So somebody could be going through either like their, their first or their second Saturn return, especially Divine Masculines. Feel led to get this deck. I I just need some like what's some decks that's gonna bring like fun flirty type of energy. That's that's what I'm getting here. It's like this really fun, upbeat, passionate. Um, it's a masculine energy. Today is Tuesday. 
Tuesday usually represents Mars energy, which is masculine. Maybe this why it's like this woof, just go, just get it kind of energy that I feel. Somebody is the veil is is moving. Um somebody is removing the veil. Like they can somebody is like, I can see the happiness. I can see the family. I can see the money. I can see the empire. You can see it now. You it's like I can touch it. I can feel it. And it, it's this tunnel vision, like anything that gets in your way will just get knocked down. It's, again, uh, Cherry, the number seven, like um, the, the triumph, it's embracing duality, moving forward, no matter what obstacles or challenges have been in your way. Yeah, see the three of swords is here and the six of swords. You're moving away from heartache, pain third party situations, um, any kind of interference, anything that makes you feel trapped. Y'all look at this, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and here is a Six of Wands. <sighs> Don't you just love it? <laughs> so you have to Knight of Swords and there's a woman on this horse, Divine Feminine Energy, but of course Divine Feminine could be a male. This is you being very decisive right now about what you're manifesting and what you're manifesting right now is a lot of abundance, wealth, security, stability. If you're single, you're going to enjoy it. If you are a single manifesting a partner, you're not so focused on the, the destination because you know where you're going. Now you're going to really start enjoying the journey. This energy of you feeling overwhelmed, defeated, um, beat up, tired, wounded. This is coming to a total end. The world is here. Some of you also too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're about to walk right into the arms of a divine masculine. They're being sent to you or you're being sent. You guys, you will cross paths soon. But this is also you getting your own divine masculine energy more balanced so that you can go towards your wish fulfillment. It's like truly the sky isn't even the, the limit for you. But I'm getting there's a frequency here between a masculine and a feminine that is is strong this could have something to do even with like telepathic communication it's like you're sending that signal out to a soulmate a twin flame like hey i'm ready you know it, one of you brings the money one brings the love together you like we can have this ten of cups this ten of pentacles but i'm ready it's like where, where are you And again, if you are, if you don't care about a relationship, even your relationship with yourself, you're like, okay, I'm, I'm healed. I'm emotionally balanced. Let's get to the money. Or you're like, I got the money. Let's get to the friends, let's, the social life. Let's have fun. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. And you see how the cards are? The money, having the open heart opens you up to the money. Having the stability opens you up to the love. Yin and yang. You know, <laughs> I have to share this thought because it just came up. I'll be honest with you guys. I think about giving up tarot a lot. I do. I think about... <laughs> I think about giving up tarot so much. But when I have readings like this, and the way the cards just like flow with what I, my intuition and they come out with these like like in different decks the com the the double triple confirmations i just i don't think i'm ready <laughs> i don't think i'm ready <laughs> the moon yeah the moon, the devil, Capricorn moon, purge, seven of wands. See what I'm saying? How I just said this? You see the cards? Capricorn moon is uh, the full moon in Capricorn, if I'm not mistaken, is July 3rd. Devil, Capricorn energy, the moon, seven of wands. Didn't I just say this? Standing up for yourself. Defending yourself. Seven of Wands. Saying, devil, you, you can't have me. You can't have this new beginning. 
devil, you, you're not going to stop or block these blessings for the future generations to come that you know you're responsible for. Devil, you can't oppress me. You can't scare me. This is you looking at the little girl or the little boy, the wounded inner child and saying, listen, I can't, I can't play in the dark with you anymore. <laughs> I can't play in the dark with you anymore, wounded child. Like, I'm sorry. You you gotta heal. You can't ever leave it behind, but it's like, okay, this is a forced healing. It's a forced awakening. Yeah, because it's it's a faded connection here and a meeting. Either you've already met this person or you're gonna meet this person. Some of you have met this person, but the hermit car, both of you are needing to take time out for a bit of introspection to to do some healing. Yeah, the page of swords to see the truth about a situation. Somebody here may be going within trying to see the truth about a situation that they were in previously or this is you. Like I said, there's an unhealthy soul to an unclean spirit here that is still lurking around. You're going to have to say you can't live rent-free in my mind or my energy anymore because you have this Ten of Cups here. And every time you get to this Ten of Cups, for some of you, this is a hex. It's a curse. It's a, a bloodline thing. It's a past person. It's a mindset that puts you in this stalemate energy. When you get excited about happiness, about joy, peace, contentment, family, friends, and everything else, you start to think about when you was in a stalemate situation and you were unhappy with someone. But your justice is coming. And with this justice comes an awakening. good stuff yeah and i'm telling y'all i was like where is a fun deck i just looked for a deck that had some some pink on it because pink and purple i was like maybe that'll be fun like, i don't know because it's lately it's like everything is so philosophical and like deep and i'm just like where is the sun <laughs> where is the sun where is the love <laughs> Two of Pentacles, again, it, this is struggling, constantly feeling discontent, bored, unhappy, always working, building. It's just too much. It's like, go have some fun in the sun. Like, take a road trip, travel, you know, have a girl's night or a guy's night at the house. I don't care if you don't do anything but play video games, Uno, do a charcuterie board, whatever you want. Just do something fun to switch up the energy. This bridge is here. It's like you're coming out of something dark, but you need to like do something. It's almost like a ritual or something ceremonial to say, I'm ready. You know, like, I don't know if this is you, you write a goodbye letter to your, your, your wounded inner child, or you, you just, it's like a goodbye. You need to be like, listen, <laughs> I'm burning up all those old clothes, empty that old letter box, like something here you need to be like, listen, I'm seriously done. This may be someone choosing to like start their, their um, social media account over or starting a new diet, joining the gym. Like It's something here in Capricorn th is about habits, your routines. Maybe you want to change your, your work. So I just heard some of you, maybe you work, um, the graveyard shift. Maybe you're like, you know, maybe I, maybe I need to start working mornings, um, or vice versa. Maybe you work mornings and, and maybe you want to work nights, you know, because maybe if you feel like if you work nights, you can work on a creative project throughout the day or you, have, I don't know. It's something here and, and it's actually a, a pretty s simple change. It's like the universe is just asking you, do you really want to do this? It's like, do you really, do you really want to lose weight? Okay, I tell you what, go throw out all the rice in the house. You know, <laughs> like, I don't know. Empty, like, em empty your candy drawer. Something like that. Log out of your Facebook account for a week. Some of you, this, maybe this is you need to do, like, you need to fast from something because, you need to give up some, you need to be willing to sacrifice something. Strength, Page of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. Some of you are needing to find the strength to move on, even though you're not receiving an apology from someone. 
It doesn't matter. Because the thing about it is, for some of you, you're holding on to the fact that somebody didn't say that they were sorry. Even if they told you they were sorry, it wouldn't change anything. Some of you, you could have a lover, a friend. This could have even been like a um, a family member, a parent that was a workaholic, always juggling. Somebody always have their phone at the table type of energy. Every time you go out, even when you're, I'm hearing somebody say, even when we're together, I feel alone. This could be a lover. This person, they didn't cherish you. They didn't value you. They, there was never any quality time. This situation is a stronghold in your life because in a, a way you feel like this person, they need to apologize. It's because this person triggered the, the, your inner child. They triggered something with, as far as abandonment or rejection. And you still are stressed out about this situation and spirit is saying, no, you need to let this go. It wasn't a, a equal give and take. That's okay. You're going into equal give and take. So don't worry about it. Stop stop holding a space. Stop worrying about, oh my gosh, they never said anything. And some of you, you're, to, to be honest, you're, there's a waiting game. You're waiting on this person who is very toxic to make you some kind of offer. Why do you want the offer is what you should ask yourself. Why? Why do you want it? When there's like a one of a kind type of love that's coming towards you, that's going to open the doors to a much better future. Why are you still waiting on this offer or this apology or a kind gesture from someone from your past that is toxic? Woman in birth is out here. Some of you, this is a mother. You're waiting on your mom or you're waiting on your dad to apologize. Why? It doesn't matter at this point. You you have your own kids, your own life, or that's what you're about to have. This person, they may not ever say that they're sorry. So? <laughs> Eight of Swords. Yeah, this is the mental entrapment. So Spirit is letting us know. Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords. This is escalating quickly. Whatever you feel is a, a problem, if you're a, a guy... You guys could be dealing with a woman that you need to just realize, okay, this didn't work out. You and this person, you separated, you divorced. I know it's hard, especially if you have kids. It's not the way you wanted this situation to be because the strength card is here. You tried to say page of cups for the kids, but this person that you're dealing with is completely crazy. You have here the eight of swords, nine of swords, ten of swords. Something here is just over. Why? Because it's time for you to start something new. You already know that something better is coming in. You also already know that this person is never going to change. You're just, wow, five, 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 five of pentacles, five of swords, five of wands, seven of swords who is out here constantly like grieving over this crazy woman this is a masculine here in this in this reading you are really waiting on a woman to get herself together because you and this person have kids or something like that and you have a whole divine feminine that god is trying to take you towards that you you're gonna have like perhaps a very gifted golden child with but yet you're still like stressed out about the fact that you was dealing with this extremely toxic demonic person in a dress karmic person that doesn't want to let you go this is the unclean spirit that somebody needs to let go you literally have out here a woman next to toxicity and the past somebody here love is not coming towards you because you won't let go of the pain associated with this situation with somebody it just didn't work out you fussing fighting arguing bickering Possibly in front of kids, you're, you're storming in and out of the house, you're in the bed, you don't like each other, both of y'all are always on your phone, at the table, you don't talk to each other. People don't even see you and this person in the same car, you don't go anywhere together, you don't do it, and yet you're still pressed. For what? There's something better. Empress, the sun, and behind it is the king of wands like find the passion to go towards something better somebody here could have some kind of outdated belief that you know now that the, i think i said that earlier sometimes I, I say so much i don't remember but i do believe earlier i said something about someone could be a divorcee this is somebody who can't get over the fact that like they're divorced okay it happens it happens but the eight of wands is here the sun the Eight of Wands, King of Wands, and the Empress. The Emperor is right underneath it. And the Ten of Cups. 
and the star. So somebody here, you're being rerouted towards like an actual counterpart. Somebody that if you would simply just get away from this crazy, this, this toxic person, you can go towards like a divine feminine, have a, a, a business, a baby or both with this person, become a real leader, travel the world, have blessings and abundance and the favor of God over your life. But you need to move on this. You, you, you gotta go. It's like somebody, you just gotta go. Look at this. Ace of Wands. Seriously, Spirit. Ace of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Your legacy is in something new. Either you've already met someone. And you're struggling to open your heart to this new connection because you're still worried about the past or something new is coming towards you. But it's your breakthrough. The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords, this is passion. This is having a very clear mind. Or you really need to clear your mind so that the good energy will come towards you so that you can get this like long-term success and abundance. Knight of Cups, yeah. Ten of Wands. Some of you want to make an offer or you're waiting on an offer from somebody that just has too much baggage. That's not serving you. You 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 just got to let it go. Um. You know, I have a deck. I think it's called the... Uh, What's your father's this deck? The reason I like this deck is real cute, but um, it has curse words on it. Like, for instance, you are giving too many Fs. <laughs> but I mean, that's kind of the situation here. I'm going to just gonna read it because we need something like lighthearted and, and direct. I don't know what to call this deck. Mm. I don't know where the box is. It's something about the truth. That project, that person, that idea is waiting. See? It says get after that stuff. You know what it really says. The world has your back. Yeah, it's time to just move. You, you're caring too much about the wrong stuff. You need to detox. It says, drink a smoothie, unfriend that a-hole, and throw some crap out. <laughs> I'll just let you read it. Yeah, detox. Clean up your, like, your friends list on social media. Okay, start a, a diet. Go to the gym. I'm talking to myself, too. <laughs> They're like, God, the universe, the world has your back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> unfriend that person drink a smoothie throw some stuff. i said that earlier like clean out their letterbox or whatever you those text messages you keep looking at looking at facebook and snapchat memories like i'm, I'm saying like delete all that just <laughs> delete everything <laughs> and be effing grateful because stuff could be way worse like you learned the lesson and now seriously, seriously just do it freaking apologize for some of you Apologize to yourself, okay? Don't you have to apologize to nobody if they don't deserve it, especially. But apologize to yourself. Maybe you guys, maybe that's what you need. Write an apology letter to yourself. Like, I am so sorry, self, for not knowing that I, I was the truth the whole time. Like, I'm sorry that I, I put you through that. <laughs> Talking to myself again. I may, tr I may do that. It says, thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. <laughs> Don't believe every crappy thought that you have. You see what it says? And look, it says some good stuff is about to happen. And look at the back. It says you are loved. Some good stuff is about to happen because you are loved. Oh, you know what? I have a deck. 
you guys always just see this but behind me i have two big shelves of decks and those of you who have sent me decks thank you so much i will be posting um shout outs on the community board because i did check the box and i think i have like four new decks thank you so much if anyone ever wants to donate to my amazon wish list i'm almost um there's only a few decks left on it that i really want that information is in my description box there's a deck that I have. I think it's called, it's Universe Has Your Back. Cause that's I. It's a little Oracle deck. Mm. Bear with me one moment. Hmm. It's so many decks over here. Hi, yeah, yeah. I don't, oh, okay, I found it, I found it. Problem is, oh my goodness. Please don't make anything else fall down. Just, wait a minute, you guys. I feel like there is something in here. I haven't used this deck in like two years. It was actually one of the very first decks I ever bought. For some reason, I feel, I've been using decks that I bought like two, three years ago. Especially oracles. It says you are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't F it up. Okay. <laughs> you. It says you equals tight. Tight but tight. You know. A-S-S. Loosen the F up. Control freaks. Control freaks don't get laid. I told you somebody out here is overworking. They mad. Because of something that didn't work out. And it doesn't even matter. Don't let your issues F it up. See something good is coming in. This is rebel because why F it? <laughs> this is funny. I don't I don't need to find what's the name of this deck. I forgot. You think someone is lying? They are. <laughs> and F fear. Why? Because it will lie to your face every time. Okay, I'm about to pull from the universe has your, your back and then I'll be done. <laughs> Actually, um, and we're going to do our angel therapy cards. <sighs> I'm going to do this last. The universe has your back. Let's do the angel therapy. Let's see what the message is. Are you guys feeling a little lighter? I feel a little better. I mean, I, I feel okay. But I'm just saying, like, the energy is just, like, so we don't want doom and gloom, you know? <laughs> You want sunshine, rainbows, Marvin Gaye, lingerie, you know. <laughs> Heal away addictions. Clear yourself. I told you. See, this full moon in Capricorn is already coming in. Ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. It's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. See, y'all, I said all that before. Singing and dancing. Oh my goodness. See, I just said that. Like, have fun. Express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. Some of you guys, you may be have, like experiencing really tight hips. Go move your hips. Dance. Um, do some yoga or something. Fairies. Vegetarian, vegan. I told you, changing your diet. Fairies usually can be really funny, tricky. I mean, some fairies are not good. Trust, they're not. But fairies are are known to have very young, light spirits. Like they're um mischievous. So you know, maybe maybe you need to do something a little daring. Be a little rebellious. Just not do bad. So not do, not do anything bad, but just have some fun. Like release. You know. Let's see what the universe says. The universe has your back. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. Oh my God. <laughs> what did I say? And I keep looking in the inside of this box. 
It says, hi, miracle worker. And I, I was about to say, you guys are miracle workers. And I just looked down and it says, hope is the conduit for miracles. So you're like a miracle worker. My my fearless freedom lights up the world. And you see how all of these cards... See, anytime Spirit tells me to look at a deck, it's always for a reason. Every single time. I don't care if I haven't seen the deck in three years. People always say, why do you have so many decks? I'm like, listen, those they talk to me. They're like, hey, pick me up. I have something to say. You see how we have yellow. I bought sunflowers and white roses. My nails are yellow and white. Yellow lighter. And I got my, my little tea here. It's yellow with yellow flowers, right? Look at these cards. They're all, they all have this goal, and it's the sun. Summer solstice just started, cancer season. Like, clean up your house. Clean up your thoughts, okay? Release old memories. But this, you're a miracle worker. All you have to do is just release. Have some fun. Like, whatever has happened has happened. Don't worry about it. And it says, the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. Like I, like I said, it doesn't matter if somebody don't apologize or whatever the case is. It does not matter because happiness is your birthright. And look at all that yellow. Y'all, this was a beautiful reading. Y'all should know. I'm telling you, I'll be working for y'all in the background, seriously, because <laughs> I was like, I'm getting a good reading out. I went on a hunt for a deck. Another deck and another. I was like, we, we just. Somebody needs to know to keep going. Happiness is your birthright, okay? Your fearless freedom lights up the world. So go out, show yourself. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. Whoever broke your heart, it does not matter if they ever apologize. Apologize to yourself, okay? Know that you are loved, okay? You, you're too uptight. If you think somebody is lying to you, they may be. But for some of you, you think people are lying to you because you're so uptight and you're going to sabotage relationships if you're not careful. Okay, always practice gratitude. Things could be so much worse. If you want to try a detox, becoming vegetarian, vegan or whatever, that's fine. Don't let your issues mess anything up for you. Don't be afraid to step outside the box. Seriously, just do it. Just apologize to yourself. Just release whatever doesn't serve you because there is something that you're holding on to is is lying to you and it's causing you to um it's something or someone that you're holding on to that's keeping you stuck in a cycle. And whoever this man is out here who was just so devastated because you had to divorce or walk away from a situation, you know, you need to let it go. Because, or woman, whoever, somebody out here is so upset because they're walking away or they need to walk away from a toxic situation. This could be with a, a wife, girlfriend, mother, sister, something. You need to find better friends. You need to create your own family and there's something way better waiting for you. So please, cancel, clear, delete, restart. Okay, because happiness is your birthright. So that's the reading that I have for you guys. I really hope that this resonated. I hope that um, you guys are are receiving this love and this light and this healing energy that I'm, I'm really trying to send out to you guys at this time. Summer solstice is here. Enjoy some fun in the sun. Um, the number nine kept coming out. So between now and maybe Virgo season, like September, there's work for you to do in tapping in with like that divine light. Um, it doesn't have to be doom and gloom and heavy, no matter what's happening around you, find the light that is within you so that that's what will shine and you will attract better things, better opportunities. Okay. Some of you for sure, like the love of your life. You're sending out the signal or they're sending it. You guys are picking up on this soulmate twin flame signal. But until you go out and free yourself and try something new, you either you won't bump into this person or you won't reunite with this person. If you're already with this person, like spice it up. Have some fun. Be fun, flirty. Okay. Okay.